Hey there, this is Clay, and today I want to answer um, a question that we get sometimes, and that's how long should you really wait for your ex before you just kind of uh, throw in the towel and decide to move on from the relationship, um, from the breakup? And the, you know, it's really up to you how long you, you want to wait for someone, how long you want to try and work things out with them. Um, but my overall advice is that you shouldn't wait for them. You know, it, if, you're, if, you feel like you're, if you feel like you're sitting and waiting on pins and needles for them to call you, for them to pick up the phone, for them to reach out to you, and you just feel like your life is on pause, then in my opinion, you're really doing it wrong. You, you shouldn't really wait for them. You should, you should be out there living your life, um, moving your life in a forward direction, uh, being, becoming the best person that you know you can be. And um, you know, if they decide to take you up on that offer, if they decide to get back together with you, then that's cool. But you know, you should never be completely stalling your life out, uh, just waiting for them to to make the next move and to get back together. I mean, you know, if you do want to get back together, it's understandable that you uh, hold a space open in your life for them. But you never want your life to just completely come to a full and complete stop. Um, there was a book. I think it was called. Uh, feel the fear and do it anyway that had a series of um, boxes that represented someone's life and each box represented a certain portion of that person's life. Um, I don't remember exactly what the example was in the book but uh, just some off the top of my head would be like job, relationship, um, hiking as a hobby, uh, friends, family, um, you know a church group, uh, your, 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 your pets, um, all kinds of things like that and you know you want to be able to have this rich and full life filled with many of these boxes so that if if something stalls out if something doesn't really work out in one of them it's not like your entire life falls apart um, so what one thing that we see a lot with a lot of people uh, in relationships is that they make the relationship kind of like the one box in their life it's like the one thing that keeps them going and when they start to have a difficult time in their relationship uh, it's like their entire life is thrown into chaos. They don't know where things are going. They don't know what to do. Everything is just completely gone. And uh, if that's you, if that is uh, what you're experiencing right now, then take that as a sign that you need to try to create space in your life for other, for other boxes. And, and when you're doing that, you know, when you're doing that, when you have all these other boxes, all these other things going on in your life, um, and and you have to really um, back off and, and really work through some difficult times with your relationship, with your ex, then um, you know, things won't seem as stagnant, they won't seem as challenging, and you'll be able to really take some strides forward with your life. And so to answer that question of how long you should wait for your ex, it really depends on you and how much um, you're willing to wait for that person, how much that relationship is important to you. Uh, but what I'd really encourage you to do is to really live a full and rich life so that, so that even if you have to wait for them for, for a month or two months or even longer, that you'll still be able to move your life in a forward direction and that um, any sort of setbacks you have won't completely derail your entire life. So I hope this helps you out, and if you'd like to learn more about how to get back together with the person that you love, please head on over to RelationshipInnerGame.com and sign up today. Thanks.